again, with the notice described and asked, what's another bridge, is again, we're not, when we look at their work, we're not saying, oh, this is a good job. That's not what you're leading with. We're being very specific about what we see. Oh, I noticed you use some different shapes in your drawing. Can you tell me about that? Or I see some curvy lines and, uh, you know, and some straight lines. Can you tell me what you were using? What you were, you know, what did you want to make with that? Or tell me about your picture. So it's a very open-ended kind of uh, a thing. And you're not, you're not praising, you're not, you know, correcting anything. You're just letting them talk about their work and think about how to describe it. So um, also, I, I had some examples of like puppets that we've made. <laughs> so when they're making the puppets, you don't say, oh, those are nice eyes or mouth, because sometimes you're not really sure what they're adding on, you know, like, is this hair or earrings that so you just what you just comment, oh, I like how you put two shapes together to create this shape. Or you, I noticed that you use curved lines pointing up. I see that you learn use pointed lines going down, you know, to how is your puppet feeling right now? So it's not that you just say, oh, he's feeling sad. Or don't tell them, let them tell you. Um, like this is another one. I might not know what this is. It's a hat or a piece of hair. They don't know. Just say, oh, I like how you use that point curved shape on the top of your puppet, you know. This is what we notice, not just describe it, um, telling them what it is, but um, say, I like how you have curvy lines and, you know, like you used squares or you shaded lightly, you know, not describing what the, the picture actually is. Because sometimes you're they're drawing, you don't even realize what their setting is that you're drawing. They might have something else in their mind. You don't want to give it a label.